Hey everyone, welcome to the conclusion of this tutorial on creating this animated face. Uh, actually, what we are going to do this time around, I'm going to add some blush to this uh, face here because I want to just add a little bit something to it. Then uh, I didn't get a chance to do it last time, so uh, we're going to go ahead and dive right in, and we're just going to do this quickly, and uh, then we'll go ahead and do our animation. So uh, let's go ahead and open up our group 2 folder, and inside that I'm going to click on the first layer, and I'm going to create a new layer on top of that. And what we are going to do is create this blush on this side and this side, so we're going to take a nice little red color here, uh, about like so, kind of a light, light red so that looks good okay that and up in our brushes I'm going to choose my brush set here and make sure that's uh, selected and I'm going to make sure my hardness is down to 0% and that should be good now if your brush size is pretty good or pretty big or small uh, here's a shortcut key to adjust your brushes on the fly uh, in order to minimize your brush hold down or tap the left bracket key on your keyboard and you will get something like that. If you want to maximize your brush hit the right bracket key and there you go. And we want it about right here and what I'm going to simply do is just kind of put in a little, some little bit of blush like so on this side and on this side. That looks good. And what we're going to do here is over in our layer 5 I'm going to create a couple more layers um, but before I do that, let's go ahead and actually bring the opacity down quite a bit. Uh, let's try, see what 30 looks like. That looks pretty good. And we don't want it to, uh, to overdo our blush here. And we are going to create a couple more layers. Let's try three and see how that look three more and see how that's going to look so uh, to do the shortcut key I'm going to show you a shortcut key on this hold down the control key and hit J three times there we go and we are going to actually select on some of these to take these off and I'm going to go to this layer right here and I'm going to bring the opacity up to let's try uh, bring it up every 10 we just want to bring it up little by little. Let's do so like that. Let's go to all the layers, bring them up a little bit. About 10 for every one. Looks good. And we are on our way. Okay. That looks really, really good. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to simply uh, just select all the eyeballs on everything, make sure everything is selected and I'm going to do the same thing with my group one which everything should be selected because if you actually click on this eyeball right here it will, um, you can get the same effect there. Um, what we're going to do in our group one though is I want to select everything in that layer and to do so just shift click on the or click on the top layer and shift click on the very bottom one and you should be able to highlight them all and we are going to merge these layers as one and I'm going into our group two and do the same thing but here what I want to do is I don't want to get the blush part of it I want to just get right below that the layer below that and all the way down to this layer right like that and we'll merge those as well so we should actually have our blush layer and our two smiley faces going on so with that being done we are ready to rock and roll and create our animation now let's go ahead if you are in CS3 version or higher uh, your animation is up under Windows and animation and if you are a version behind like uh, C I think it's CS and CS2 and I think even uh, some other versions before that they had a program called image ready which laid right down in here underneath your quick mask mode and you can click that little there's an icon there you can click and it loads up a separate program and then that program up in Windows you can click on the animation as well and get the what we pretty much got right here. Now let's go ahead and to get we're gonna bring all our layers in here and to do that we're simply gonna click here 
And by the way, if you're in your timeline, you got uh, you're in a version like I've got or higher, and you've got um, a timeline, you can actually click off down here and get out of that. So we're in this mode together. Okay, what we're going to do is simply click here and make frames from layers, like so. Now, pretty much we've got what we want right here with the two smiley faces, but if you look here on the frames 3 through 6, we don't have that smiley face, and we want this smiley face for the rest. And I'm going to simply go ahead and um, click on layer 3 and hold down the shift key and click on 6 so they're all highlighted. And I'm just going to go ahead and just click on this layer like so, so it brings all these up. And basically, we are pretty much done. If you notice, when we click on this layer here, you're going to see that this first blush that we made created is right here. When we create the or click on this one, you notice that deselected this layer and went to the next layer up above, and like so, like that. And if not, you just have to go and click off the layers, off the eyeballs, and click on the layers that we need by clicking on the eyeball. And pretty much we've got our animation. That's pretty much it. So if you want to test it out, all you do is hit the play button. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to be the way we would like it. So we're going to have to set some options here in a few minutes. But uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to give you uh, a sample of what it looks like if we did not set that. And it's going to look pretty crazy, like the uh, animations having a seizure or something. So let's go ahead and on the first one we are going to click on that and make that one second and click on the second one make that let's uh, say right there half a second and I, we're going to click on three through five and we'll say two seconds that looks good and this last one we kind of want to hold him in this pose for maybe about a second and then it will start over the animation. Now if you want it to run forever just click on forever. If you want to click on it once you can do the same. And pretty much let's see what our animation looks like now. Yep, looks pretty good. Uh, you can always go back and set these to what you want for your preferences but uh, for now it just gives you basically a basic idea how the animation works. So uh, with that said, we are done. But before we are done, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you one last thing, and that is how to export this as a GIF or as a video. So let's go ahead and do the export as a GIF. And what we're going to do is go up to File and Save for Web and Devices. And in our Save and Web for Devices, oh boy, my computer's running slow here. Okay, and uh, my screen's pretty big here on this, but uh, let's see if I can just, there we go, adjust the size so you can see it here. Okay, if you noticed right here, I've got it making sure it's a GIF. If not, you can go ahead and choose that and uh, make sure everything is pretty much what we've got. If we want to make sure it's run forever, and we can save that, name it, and we are good. Now, if you want to save this as a uh, video, Go ahead and go to File, Export, and you would just choose Render Video and just go ahead and save that. So that's, this concludes our animated tutorial on this smiley face. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you and please leave some comments and uh, any feedback that you've got. I appreciate. So thank you for watching and enjoy.